Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition, a uh, weekend edition as well. This is a Friday night. We are in wet, cold, dark Ripley in Derbyshire. Um, we are going to go around the town. We've been around once before, but we're going to get around everything else hopefully tonight and maybe pop in on some of the ones we've been to before. Starting up on the outskirts in the rain. Uh, this one is a little bit out of the town centre. Um, looks like it probably used to be a brewer's fair or something like that called Butterley Park. Uh, but before we get into the town, we figured we'd stop here and get it done. As you can tell, my wife's going to be massive of fun tonight. She absolutely loves the rain and being wet and cold, don't you, Holly? How excited are you to be out, Holly? <laughs> See, that's what I'm going to be up with all night. Uh, this is, it's, uh, so it's operated by a company called Cookhouse, who I've never heard of. Uh, got their menu out. It's going to spin you out again to have a little look at their menu, see what they do. So, burgers, grills, sides, things like that. Sort of mid-range price bits and pieces. All looks alright. Looks quite friendly and stuff in here. Uh, big up, I've definitely used to be a Brewers Fair or something. It's got Premier Inn on the side of it. Yeah. Uh, if you want something, something cheap and easy to eat out uh, it's quite busy, looks quite good. A little bit soulless in there to be honest. It definitely used to be something like a uh, Brewers Fair or something like that. So we're at the George Inn, which is the other one outside of the town. Uh, gonna find a way to get in, round the back, I believe. Uh, and then we'll, we'll head in towards the town. It's quite a sweet little locals pub actually. They've done some, uh, done some pretty cool Halloween decorations. Have a look at them. Oh. Over there. Getting ready for it. But the scariest thing of all, that. So on the walk into town now, still in the rain, uh, there are two pubs opposite each other. So our next stop is this one, which looks really nice, the Talbot Tap House. Yeah, this is the Drinkers Pub. Really good selection on the taps, really good selection in the fridges, loads of like, um, I've got a uh, Tiny Rebel, uh, it's a passion fruit Nipa, Nipa, however you're supposed to say it, but uh, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, Drinkers Pub, got a dog in. Uh, nice and busy. Good for a Friday night, especially in this weather. Apparently you can't normally move in there on a Friday night, uh, going to some of the locals, because it's so busy, but um, Tonight, obviously, I think the weather has put pace for a little bit. So just across the road is the Nags Head, which is stop number four. This is a really nice little friendly locals pub, definitely. So it's still a little bit out of the town. Not far, it's like a two minute walk into the town from here, opposite the uh, Talbot Tap House. Um, but just, yeah, it's not big, it's not massive. It's got a room in the back, it's got a pool table and stuff in. They've got the rugby on in there. Just really friendly, really nice, good atmosphere. That is proper, proper friendly in there. I really like the Nags Head. Uh, Debs that runs that, Debbie is absolutely lovely, salt of the earth lady. Uh, so, it's about a three minute walk up, and we're now in Ripley Town Centre, so to speak, an Amber Pool and Sports Bar is going to be our next port of call. Really not sure about the music, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit dumpy for me, uh, but yeah, absolutely stack load of pool tables and stuff in here, uh, big and things to watch, yeah, it's nice. I don't know what the music that was playing in there was, but the one thing I do know is I am definitely too old for it. Because let me tell you what it was, it was just thump, thump, thump. <laughs> Good, uh, good sports and pool place though. If you want to watch the sport or uh, or have a game of pool, it was pretty good. It has actually stopped raining. Woohoo! So look, look at the happy smile on Holly's face. Still cold though. I knew it was too good to be true. Um, so two minute walk from Amber's Pool and Sports Hall, uh, sports bar, and we've come to Ripley's Little Ale House. We're gonna get the micro pubs and stuff done before we finish at Britain's cheapest ever, uh, Britain's cheapest pub, Pound Pub. Everything is a pound. I can't wait to get in there, it's going to be messy. This is a super little micro pub, uh, have a look around. Good snake. Yeah, lovely. Uh, been, here, been here six years, doing well. There's too much choice on the bar, that was the problem. Too much choice. Going places that haven't got any choice, and here I could have, I could have had about eight different things. I absolutely loved it in there. I think that's probably my uh, my favourite of Ripley so far, just because of the selection and the the welcome and everything else in there. It was just it felt it felt like home, like really really nice. So you just walk up the road, which is down sort of a shopping sort of high street, uh, and turn left at Bird's Bakery, uh, and you get to the other micro pub of the town, uh, Tom said. I don't know what Tom said, but what we're gonna Tom? we're gonna go and find out. Yeah, this is right on my street in here. Uh, so I've got a raspberry, and blackberry, and vanilla sour off the tap. Loving it in here. Uh, it's just beautiful. Uh, have a look around. That proper micro pub serving proper beer. 
We wonder at a Tom said micro pub, which is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely loved it. Uh, and you come up onto the main high street and you get to the Pear Tree Hotel, which we did do on our last visit to Ripley. But since there's not actually an awful lot left here that we haven't done, we're going to head back in to the Pear Tree Hotel because we really liked it last time. So we're going to go in. We really liked it the last time we were here, um, and that's why I come back in. It's cash only, which I still find I still find it a little weird, a little bizarre that any pub in this town is cash only. But uh, have a little look around. Oh. But give a wave to the video them. Here we are. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, just uh, just uh, again, um, and that's why we thought we'd pop in. We're gonna we're gonna pop back into a couple of the other ones, just uh, bypassing the Crompton Arms probably because he hasn't left yet and he definitely doesn't like me. Ah oh, well, not many people do. We really like it in there. The uh, the guy that runs it, he's just he's really sad. It's a really nice place. Um, we also liked it in here, the Thorn Tree. Uh, a lot, so we're gonna pop in for one in here because it doesn't really sound like there is an awful lot more for us to do, and we think these should be included in the video because we really liked them. So, into the thorn tree, we really liked it in here, so we come in again. They, they do a Friday night karaoke, and this uh, Elvis he's doing karaoke, but he's come dressed as he's come dressed for everything. It's like, but yeah, it's uh, this uh, proper like decently big, uh, big booze and stuff like that. We, uh, we had a good time in here last time, we thought we'd come and uh. Paid him another visit before we head uh, we head off. Before we come back to place with Vinny, this is Jimmy. Say hello, Jimmy. Oh! Jimmy's part of the video now. Jimmy's part of the video. Here's Elvis. Here's Elvis. He's been doing a bit. He's been doing a bit of the karaoke. We like it in place like this. The Thorn Tree's a really good pub. Like it's, it's always always a good atmosphere in there. The people that run it are really friendly, um, and it's just nice sometimes to just be able to stop back in on the pubs we've done before and really enjoyed, um, rather than always rushing to new things. Uh, but we are again going to stop in at the Keys just here because we really liked it in here last time we were here as well. So we're going to stop in and see them for a, a quickie. And then apparently we've got the Exchange right next door, which is one we haven't done before. And then the Pound Pub. And then we've done Ripley in its entirety. You could also go towards Weatherspoons, the Three Horseshoes and the White Lion, which were all sound um, last time. And you can have a nice little night in Ripley. Yeah, this is another one. We just we absolutely love it in here. And I, yeah, all geared up for Halloween. Uh, it's just, a, it's just a nice pub, it's a nice friendly pub, the Keys. Uh, it's next door to the Exchange, we are going to go on the Exchange, but we haven't done yet, but it's just a nice, look, it's just a nice pub. Give the video away. Okay. It's just a nice friendly pub, and that's why we go, but when we find friendly places, we go back to them. And that's why it deserves to be in the video. Absolutely love it in there, I met so many people in there that like, uh, follow the page and, and things, it's nice then. So, this is the Exchange right next door, we haven't done this, so we're going to go in and do the Exchange next. Uh, and then we're on around the Pound Pub, and then that will be Ripley with a big old tick. God, they are awesome. Yeah, as you can see, it's too noisy in there for me to really talk, but what a wicked place the exchange is. They're only open Saturday and Sunday usually, but luckily we caught them on a Friday when they're a private party and we got, we got them. But what a wicked, what a wicked little place that is. So we're on the way now to Pound Pub, and that is it for Ripley. So here we are. So this is it, Pound Pub. Uh, this is it for Ripley, the final one. Although there's something called the Association in the back garden, I'm not really sure what that is. But uh, this is this is it for Ripley. Final stop of the night, uh, Pound Pub. We've heard good things. The prices sound ideal, so we're definitely going to go in and see. I love it in here. I love the fact that they're playing Yellow Submarine. I love the fact it's a party pub. I love the price. This is a proper party pub. You know what? We we really like Ripley. There's only one detrimental thing in Ripley, and he's leaving in November. So uh, uh, yeah, we've had a, we've had a wicked time again. People are friendly. You can have a really good night out in Ripley. You can also, I said, do the free horseshoes, the white lion, and the spoons in here is sound as well. Do them as well. You can have a really good night out around Ripley. And then there is a nightclub here called the Association, literally just on the other side of Pound Pub, um, which we're not going to go because it's a nightclub. Uh, and uh, Sergio's Pizza is calling me for a kebab. So we're going to go here as per all, uh, as per usual. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Uh, tomorrow we're off to Scunthorpe. Make sure you hit subscribe. Thanks, guys.